Hi, beautiful humans. Welcome to Do You Tarot. My name is Erica, and what I am going to do is shuffle this deck, get three cards, and we're going to be tuning into, in this reading, a breakthrough that is coming into your life, coming your way with this next upcoming full moon. I'm recording this at the time of, um, in February. So it's at the time of the full moon in Virgo, which is also called the snow moon. But honestly, I like these readings to be timeless. So whenever you find this reading, whenever you click on it, it is meant for you, almost especially if it is at or, or, at or around the time of a full moon. But okay, if you're not familiar with my channel or pick a card readings just in general, what I'm doing is I'm tuning into three different messages for you all. And all you need to do is feel your way into which one of these cards or which one of the groups you feel most drawn to. It is more than all right if you feel drawn to more than one. Watch everything you know you need to hear, okay? Group number one is the red rose. Group number two, magic. And group number three, the sun. And again, we're tuning into a breakthrough that is coming your way on or around or near this upcoming full moon that we're about to experience. It's going to be a full moon in Virgo or whenever or whatever full moon is coming your way when you see this video. But okay, <laughs> feel your way, group one, group two, group three, head to the timestamp in the description of this video. It'll fast forward you and I will see you there in your messages. Hi, beautiful humans in group number one. You all were drawn to the red rose card. So these are your messages all about a breakthrough that is coming your way with this full moon energy on near or around the full moon something is happening in your life that will feel like a breakthrough that you really will enjoy but okay this red rose card it says overcoming obstacles finding joy carefree and then on the card it says don't worry darling you'll find your way and there's something of an energy of literally your breakthrough energy is literally like, oh my gosh, that is the next step on my path. Something along those lines. I feel like it's, I keep noticing that this flower bug alien creature is growing through a crack in the pavement. Like something about an impossibility in your life suddenly becomes almost alchemically or magically possible. I feel like this breakthrough is literally something that you're like, what? Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that something like that would be possible. Like, and that it could be a maneuver I can make or, or a new pathway I can chart or like the step that I can take that I wasn't expecting was like literally right in front of my face. Something like that. I feel you learning from this breakthrough about the potentials in any given moment, like, you know, you know how we, we, in reality, literally, if we get like really, really into it, like literally infinity is always possible. <laughs> it's a bit overwhelming for us third dimensional humans. <laughs> um, we like limitation almost a bit too much. Um, yeah, I feel like this breakthrough might teach you a thing or two. Like just the, because it seems as if this person is learning from the bug flower alien um <laughs> yeah okay let's get a bit more detail about this that feels I don't know I feel like a sense of joy and accomplishment while at the same time a certain sense of humility but a healthy humility like thank you universe for teaching me something that I had no idea was even possible about how limitless we are but okay let's see Woo! <laughs> Um, I have no idea how to like really translate that into limitlessness, but the deck just kind of exploded. And maybe that's a bit about your breakthrough. Um, here we go. What's on the bottom of the deck? Nine of water, joy. It is interesting on this card. It does say overcoming obstacles, yes. But it says finding joy and carefree. And I feel like a bit of your guys' message, group number one's, is about that whole mechanism, that whole process that the spiritual community for a while now has been trying as hard as they can to hammer home inside of our psyches of follow your bliss, 
follow your bliss. It can become infinitely more complicated and, and convoluted and complex than that. But so simplistically, bottom of the deck energy ha is letting me know that in some kinds of ways, through the simple pleasures of self-care and self-love and the joy that we can find in any given moment, like the way the sun comes through the window and paints itself in its shadows on the floor and the brightness. Or if you have a pet, I just got the visual. I don't own a cat. <laughs> I just got the visual of a cat. There's a sunbeam on the floor in front of me. And I got the visual of a cat laying in it. And I'm like, oh God, that's so blissful. And in that kind of a way, in these simple moments of life, when we resonate with that, we can, when we can like feel the feeling of it, it creates in infinite options. It creates more for us. It opens up pathways that we didn't even know existed, that we weren't even paying attention to, but are fully available for us. So bottom of the deck energy is vibing pretty high for you all. It's literally joy <laughs> and it's nine of water or nine of cups, like wish fulfillment energy. Okay, let's get to your tarot cards. We have medicine, man. There you go. This is the uh, magician <laughs> in this deck. <laughs> you are creating undeniably. I do like I don't know. I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed by the imagery here. I feel like you've been wanting something in a certain kind of way. And in that way, un, un, unknowingly creating stagnancy in your life simply because you thought that your breakthrough, you thought that your, I don't even know, like your motivation even to do what it is that you want to do or you want to manifest in your life had to come through a certain method. And your breakthrough is that ignition of, holy crap, it can come through anywhere and everything. Um, it's that kind of thing that also spiritual people tell us of like, if you're trying to manifest wealth and abundance and even money, like, like try not to limit our mindset to it has to come through a wage or a salary. And I'm only saying that just because I, I see this stag with the antlers and I see this bird of prey in the background and this peace pipe and I feel you using certain tools or using, using a mindset that more like vibes with what could be like normal or what you're used to or what you expect. But okay, here we go. Magician, energy, medicine, man. Two of air, inner peace. Dang, that felt good. Wow. Oh, carefree. That's right here on this card, the word carefree. Nine of water and joy is on the bottom of the deck. Just underneath that is the father of air and the ace of air. Oh, this is funny. It's letting me know that you've done a lot to ensure that your actions on a daily basis are as carefree as you can make them, meaning, you know, meditation and breath work or any of those things that we can do to encourage our own mental awareness, our mental peace, uh, being able to acknowledge and recognize when we are making decisions and make sure that our decisions are in alignment with the truth of who we are, our values, all that kind of stuff. I like that this two of air is talking about inner peace. It's talking about taking that pause and taking that moment to pay attention to the cat in the sunbeam on the floor because it's just so precious and cute. Okay, we also have the 10 of air negative thinking. Oh my gosh, okay. This is setting up the scenario for me and now we're going to get the breakthrough in these three cards. The negative thinking is that thing that you didn't realize that feels, okay, I want to say it in a different kind of a way because it feels as if the cards are almost being blamey. <laughs> like I was saying, I feel as if you all were thinking that it had to happen, whatever your manifestation, whatever your breakthrough that is coming with the full moon needed to happen in a certain kind of way. And in that way, you were signing yourself up unknowingly for negative thinking, despite all your attentive awareness, despite all your beautiful things that you do there's something about I don't know like the the best example I can think of is you want to manifest love and a relationship like an intimate partnership in your life and you think that that would have to happen through getting on an app and swiping left or right this is like yo you go down the road and <laughs> there's a person there who uh I don't know <laughs> like any of those kinds of random things the negative thinking, I feel like I feel like you were charting your course and designing your pathway as best as you could 
with some kind of awareness of how you thought it had to happen. And here we go, your breakthrough. Torment, which is the devil card in this deck. And we also have hermit. And it's not a solitary hermit, by the way. It's so interesting to me that this hermit has a bear in the background. It's very interesting. And then we have five of earth insecurity. Um, you know what I'm sensing from these cards? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> you get, oh, okay. Um, the breakthrough that's happening again, like I've already been saying, is in like the way that you manifest, like there are infinite potentials. I feel like the breakthrough that is coming your way is some kind of an opportunity to share what, like literally to complain. <laughs> like in, in, in whatever kind of way I feel like you get to express more about the hardships of what you might be going through the actual obstacles that you are facing and in a lot of ways this breakthrough is happening because I wow this is blowing my mind actually totally blowing my mind okay I feel I, f I feel as if this breakthrough is literally you guys with this nine of water and the father of air and the ace of air on the bottom of the deck, like I already was pointing out, you you all, ooh, in the medicine, wow. Group number ones, you, you all have done an incredible job of doing your best at manifesting through difficult situations. With all of that kind of, these are the tools that I know to use. I'm going to have inner peace, mental calm. I'm going to align with my joy, even if it is momentary, even if it is slight. I'm still going to notice it and pay attention. There's something about don't worry, darling. You'll find your way in the overcoming of the obstacle is that it's like, it's almost as if that's, that's, um, oh my gosh, this is, this feels like it's like, I don't know, this feels as if it's blowing my own mind. <laughs> it's like taking that all and turning it on its head and it's saying like, now you're going to receive some kind of a golden opportunity to express to someone who's on this journey with you in, in some kind of a way. You're going to find them. They're going to find you, someone who literally wants to hear about the toxic stuff that you've had to endure, about the parts of your life that are not entirely secure. Like someone who literally, someone or something, they literally want to be there for those parts of yourself that you, you are working very, very hard to endure. Endure is the best word that I can use for this, these cards. There's something about a truth of this situation in your life. I, I feel almost as, it feels a bit like all this kind of stuff that is so beautiful. It feels almost like the energy in your reading and your breakthrough is that it, it, in, a, in a little bit of a way, it was like toxic positivity when you actually do have some very real stuff in your situation, in this obstacle that you are looking to overcome that is really worthy of some conscious awareness and some att attentiveness and attention. I think you might be a person, group number ones, who's used to being gaslit or misunderstood or misconstrued or something like that, or just you don't think that your problems are big enough to warrant some kind of compassion or empathy or attention of. It's kind of, I'm getting this energy of like, um, I don't know, like people who I've known who are who are literally like they have injuries and they're like, no, no, I'm fine. And they just like keep going despite the injuries. So they're living with this like chronic kind of hum of pain in their lives. And they're like, you just got to keep going and, and being positive. I feel like the breakthrough that is happening again with this 10 of air and the negative thinking is like you thought that it was supposed to happen through this kind of persistence and endurance kind of energy. What's going to happen is you're going to have somebody, someone's maybe, like an organization or something coming, or you're going to them maybe. All of a sudden you have this re realization of, holy crap, there's like a, a support thing that is available for me that like literally wasn't there before. And now all of a sudden it is there. 
like, oh my gosh, like, I feel like you got used to there not being any support for what it is that you're trying to do or the obstacle that you're seeking to overcome. Uh, honestly, one of the good examples that comes to my mind is like, you're trying to start a business and yet you need some kind of an investment to be able to go ahead and do it. And like you looked everywhere for what you could qualify for and for what wouldn't be like predatory on you, like getting a small business loan at a really high interest rate or something like that. And then all of a sudden there's some kind of a government grant that is like so easy for you to apply to. And then you're like, what? And then part of that government print grant application process is talking about and sharing how hard your journey to start a business has been. And you thought, okay, in order to be an entrepreneur, I'm just going to have to endure the grind of it and the insanity of it and doing it all myself and bootstrapping the whole thing. And right here with the torment and the five of earth insecurity and the hermit energy, it's just like somebody or some organization or some many people are literally going to get it. And they literally want to know how hard has it been for you? We are here with some kind of a support for where you are feeling spaces of material lack and insecurity, even if that is your own sense of self-worth, you know, being insecure like inside of ourselves. Um, and then the torment, the devil energy of being like tied to something or yeah being tormented by um honestly like I don't know I can think of so many examples of this but sticking with the entrepreneur thing like if you have an idea for a business and how or like a creative project and how impossible it might feel like to get it off the ground and yet you desire to do it so greatly it can literally feel like this kind of torment and you're like, I just wish I didn't have the idea anymore. <laughs> or I wish the road was easier to create it or something like that. I feel like the negative thinking and all this kind of stuff over here, your situation here was enduring. And I feel like right here is some kind of, wow, this feels so nice, group number ones. Some kind of a someone or some ones or an organization or something that will prioritize the reality of what you're dealing with. And help you to stop with that whole enduring pattern and start creating from a place that is far more supported, far more acknowledged, okay? Now we have two more cards. We have Seer, see beyond the current situation. That's absolutely brilliant. And we also have Sky Father, trust in the unknown. I feel Sky Father being this epic kind of masculine container of support. I feel as if there's something about an acknowledgement of yes, how hard you have worked to get yourself up and build something in your life while at the exact same time, there's also going to be this kind of acknowledgement of seeing the entire whole picture. Like uh, literally from the bird's eye view of like, why did it have to be so hard for you? Whatever this overcoming of your obstacle is. It's almost like I feel like this breakthrough has a lot to do with like not necessarily telling a hero's story about like, yes, I overcame my obstacle. Yes. And it was through joy and carefree and all my efforts. I feel like what's about to happen with the scene beyond, see beyond the current situation, trust in the unknown. These two energies are making me think of the, this bear. <laughs> Whoever can like see the full picture with you. From a, like the the expanded perspective as well as that deep inner sense of, of knowing, it's going to be someone or something or an organization that can literally see like it's not necessarily a hero's journey. You've actually been like held back and like things have not treated, things or people have not treated you well. Like you're obligated to have to go on a hero's journey. Does that make sense, group number ones? I feel like this is someone who can see a big picture kind of a thing about like how the whole timeline of your situation has played out. And this seer is someone who can understand the inner motivators like inside of us all that have us choose this way or that way in any given moment. I feel you being, oh my gosh, overwhelmingly understood. Group number ones, like in your situation, Wow, that feels really nice. Okay, I'm getting two more cards. 
yeah, just like people who get it. Um, whereas before, I think you were just very used to like an obligation of like, I don't know, this hermit energy. Remember how I felt called to point out there's a bear. And I think it's interesting because the hermit is usually about like lone, lonely loner. <laughs> like you're going it solo um, for a million reasons, healthy and, you know, ob obligatory. But I feel like this is something that you've carried with you for a while solo that is about to be encountered by others very, very clearly. They're going to, or that person is going to truly see, truly see the whole entire situation and like really get it like with you. I almost want to say they're on your side, but not in the way of like, I don't know. I feel like it's just a generous kind of compassion and empathy kind of thing. So not necessarily choosing sides, but you know, anyway, we have Peacock. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. <laughs> Since you're receiving this tarot reading, since you're receiving these messages and you are getting a bit of an awareness that this, this is likely to occur, this can happen for you. It's a totally different way of overcoming obstacle, totally different way of like boundless um, manifestation potential and possibilities. The, um, since you're receiving these messages, this is a bit of a like, you know, your, your forewarning to allow yourselves potentially to open up. Like when you do encounter someone or something that, that that feels like that on or around or near the full moon, go ahead and allow yourselves, even if you feel vulnerable, to share the hardships and how difficult this obstacle is that you're trying to manifest your way through or whatever. Open up. Vulnerability and authenticity are part of the keys that unlock our, our new age of Aquarius, like love and light, new earth kind of architecture, you know? We also have Cheetah, get clear on your intention, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goal. Interestingly enough, I feel like this is a quicker way. Interestingly enough, that's not even that, that strange. Like, it's always, isn't it? Like, I don't know. I, I can be quite a stubborn little girl in my mind and I'll be like, fine, I'll do it myself. It's, I'm an Aries. It's part of our, <laughs> part of our nature. <laughs> um, and I feel like this is going to, like when you get others involved in your situation, it is likely to move a hell of a lot easier and quicker, right? <laughs> I do think it's also interesting that like for the big cats in Africa, I think cheetahs are the only ones that hunt during the day. And I feel like where you've been operating is more like in the dark or in the night, you know, like when and where you could. And there's something about like, okay, now you're going to have this energy of being in a pack or with a pair or somebody else who can help you hunt down what it is that you need for the sake of overcoming this obstacle and or manifesting exactly what it is that you need and want in your personal version of joy and carefreeness. <laughs> okay, and then we also have goose. Oh, take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. That's one of the benefits of doing a project together <laughs> rather than alone. It, like I was saying with like if you're starting your own creative project or your own business, like having someone else with you like gives it more of that flexibility and ease of time of like, you don't have to run yourself completely dry into the ground, ragged, doing everything all of yourself in an insane capacity. I feel like now with the team, you guys, somehow in some kinds of ways, you can help yourselves manifest together because they can see it all clearly quicker. While at the same time, allowing for a greater vibration of peace, ease, inner health, all that kind of stuff. The Canadian goose right there. Rest and recuperate. Rather, Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> it literally says it on the card what this breakthrough is. <laughs> I was so busy talking about the new potentials and possibilities of your manifestations that I'm like literally your whole entire reading is almost summed up on what it says in the goose card. Take time to rest and recuper recuperate rather than continuing your striving. I feel like you were thinking that you could 
continue your striving and it's fine. You'll be fine. This is fine. <laughs> like, we got it. And again, that's that ne- 10 of air negative thinking. You're, I think you're so used to having to do things alone or being misunderstood, misinterpreted that you just like do the best that you can in any given moment. And now this is flipping it on its head and being like, that's, that's in, enduring something that you shouldn't have to. Rest, ease yourself, create some kind of vitality from where you are feeling the lack and the insecurity and the torment. We got a new way, a new way of manifesting and breaking through for you all. This is the breakthrough, but it's literally creating even more for you. Um, But okay, I'm getting your last cards. I'm going to get two more from this deck that my friend sent me. Uh, these are literally my favorite kind of gifts. <laughs> I don't like too many objects, but I swear I could own all of the tarot decks in the whole entire world. I don't even like owning things. I'm a little obsessed with tarot, and my friend sent me this deck as a surprise. Um, uh, I'm gonna do a plug. Sorry, I, I'm very bad at sales, but I have a link in the description of this video. She does, a, uh, my friend, if you're interested in, in getting some kinds of help for uh, releasing trapped emotions. If that sounds like something that vibes well with you, head to the link that I include in the description of my video, like for her, with her, because I love what it is that she does. She's certified in a specific process. It's overwhelmingly simple and helpful. So yeah, okay. I'm very bad. I'm interrupting your reading to say that, but that might be something that is a part of your reading. It would be useful. But anyway, we have the moon card. So it is touching base with emotions. <laughs> we also have the sorcerer. Dang, I like the look of this one. Um, and we also have luminous warrior. And the last one, the Andean cross. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I feel no, not I don't I don't mean I don't know. I really do know. Um, what's coming through in the cards is I feel as if there there's going to be reciprocity, there's going to be balance of energies. Like the moon card makes me think of the feminine and it makes me think of an emotional journey and, and, you know, following your bliss and finding joy and soothing the mind and the mental clatter. It all feels very feminine and acknowledging, you know, cycles and how if it's painful right now, the pain doesn't last always. It doesn't last forever. And eventually the bright sun comes out and all that kind of stuff. I feel with this sorcerer card, you've been magnetizing and manifesting as best as you can. According to that, the breakthrough that is happening with the full moon is some kind of a companion kind of energy with this luminous warrior. Like, luminous warrior, a warrior of light. There's someone, something who carries that energy of empathy, compassion, understanding, clarity, being able to see the full picture and being able to see the inner workings and the inner realm. Like it's something that you can count on in the Andean cross. I did a little bit of research with this one because um, I don't know if you guys know, you can drop it in the comments if you all in group number one know anything about the Andean cross, but it's a very old symbol and it's not entirely clear what it exists exactly means there's a lot of talk about that in a lot of what I was reading but right away as I stared into it I got ooh, sorry I'm getting it again I got the understanding of a har- harmonic resonance of masculine and feminine energies I don't exactly know why <laughs> that's just like when I stared at it and when I when I open myself up to it and that's what I'm seeing right here like you, you, your breakthrough is a companion energy to what you have been presenting in, in your world. You, you have a companion energy that's going to come and join you and it's going to come assist you and help you and see things. At the least, it's going to see things with great clarity about what you have been dealing with. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. That's what I have for you all, group number ones. I feel like there's one more thing that I want to add. But again, I feel like this is coming in the form of a person that you can turn to and lean on. And I just feel like you didn't expect to receive this kind of a blessing. Genuinely, that's why you're, you're getting this in a reading that is tuning into a breakthrough rather than a blessing that you're receiving. This is a breakthrough because you were so committed, so focused on what you knew you could do and you, you gained some traction with, I'm pretty sure. 
<laughs> you know, manifesting from those kinds of resources and what's, what's, you know, possible for you as far as you could see it. And then we have someone and something coming to you to show you, yo, this is meant to be a whole lot nicer for you. You're, you're, you're struggling and, and it's been harder than, than it needs to be, you know? Oh, I just, again, like possible. So much more is about to be possible for you. And things are about to manifest in very mystical and magical kinds of ways, I just have to say. And again, the light, there, there's this undeniable energy of whatever this resource is that's coming to you is an energy of the light. So again, one last reminder with the Peacock card, allow yourselves to open up to it and maybe show those harsher parts of your reality that you don't always talk about at dinner parties because <laughs> they might bring the vibe down. No, share it. The vibe needs to be seen, you know, the masculine feminine balance kind of thing I'm feeling. But okay, that's it. Group number ones, this felt incredible. Honestly, I'm, I'm pleased to be able to channel this for you. And I'm pleased that you guys are going to be able to experience something like this. If you like this reading, give it a big thumbs up. Also click on the subscribe button if you want to see some more of my readings in the future. Check out the links that I have in the description of this video. And like I said, there's that one for my friend who magically sent me this deck, my favorite kind of gift. I, I love this person so much. Okay, she's my friend and she does this. And if that sounds like something that you would like to do, head to that link. Otherwise, I'm going to send you on your way with my favorite sentiment. Just please remember we are all free and we are also all connected. Always at the exact same time. I love you guys. <laughs>
because I feel you moving is, uh, sorry, it's not written on the card. I feel you moving in steps in whatever area of your life this reading feels like intuitively it is focusing on this far. I feel you making some power moves in your life almost because your life requires it out of you, but it feels like this is also initiating you into some kinds of energetic upgrades or just initiations in general into like behaving in ways that you might not be used to. It's like when you pull back your energy from someone who's been draining it and siphoning it, that feels awkward and weird and, and like mechanical to just do it as a concept without ever knowing what it actually feels like to do it in real life. But I feel like this breakthrough that's occurring, we have, I'm just going to get to the star card. Sorry, your cards. And the star card is the first card. But I feel like the breakthrough has a lot to do with after a pause and after replenishing and, and regenerating and refortifying your battle, your battle stations. Then you begin again and you amplify the power and you make your next move. I feel like this breakthrough, this happening for you all, group number two, is, is something that is a stage in a process progress happening and like yes leveling up but it's like okay now we're gonna get to the next level and then there'll be the next level and <laughs> the next level but okay we have the, the star and then we have the nine of fire with inner strength and then we also have the four of earth with security and then we have vision quest which in this deck this is the hanged man or the hanged one it's specifically is different I like that it's called vision quest in this deck because it's not exactly focusing on how your circumstances might be limiting you and you might have a really pure vision of what's possible in the future, but it might not be available right now. All those kinds of hanged manny kind of things. The vision quest is much more about like placing a great importance on that end vision or that, that pure goal. That, that you can see and you can visualize. I like this card because it's so, look at this, if you all are used to tarot and tarot cards and the hangman and how awful it can look depending on the deck, look at this energy, this card. The primary focus is on that end vision, that, that goal. And I'm feeling this energy of needing to escape what isn't contributing to that. And this breakthrough is in direct regard in relation to you building yourself up inside and outside. I think this is really interesting because it speaks of material strength, material well-being, material security, as in like you got enough, you're fortified, you can make that next step or that next move. And it also talks with the nine of fire of inner strength, as in you've been tested. The nine of fire, the nine of wands is sometimes called the wounded warrior or like, you know, don't give up now. You're, you're, you're doing what you need to do, even though it's hard, just like, you know, hold a little bit in reserve and keep going. And in that kind of way, it makes me think of when I had a personal trainer and it was explained to me that, you know, like the ripping, oh, <laughs> like when we build muscles, we have to like reach nine of fire. Like kind of every time we work out, like not every time. Oh my God, sorry. I won't get too technical, <laughs> but it's basically like with our muscles. I, I don't think I need to talk about how we literally rip them in order to build them. That sounds awful. But regardless, like with our muscles, when we're using the weights and stuff like that, it's like push yourself all the way to that level because that's literally how you build. And then from there, you build again. And then from there, you build again, you know? So I feel you having done that. But what's this breakthrough? We have eight of earth, inner order, and mother of earth. Dang, breakthrough in finances significantly in the terms of like finances in the exact location or order or funding or significant organization that you literally need them to be in in order to make that next step forward finances and I'm gonna add simply for those of you who it really really tracks with since I felt called to bring up like bodybuilding I wasn't bodybuilding I was just literally losing weight and <laughs> building my muscles. Um, <laughs> no, um, uh, a physical stamina or a physical health kind of situation. The breakthrough that is occurring for you all has a lot to do with literal total inner and outer preparedness, as well as organizational readiness 
to make that next power move. Like your muscles have recovered, now it's back in the gym, you know, because now you can lift, you know, 10 kilogram. Well, that's a significant jump. Maybe, I don't know, depending on how big your muscles are, 10 kilograms more this time, you know, you can bench press 10 kilos more. But again, the sun of water is on the bottom of the deck and I feel you making some self-driven kinds of moves moving toward what you know you would love and it feels like a very pure like the universe is working with you and i feel the star card talking about the stuff that you've been doing to clear away anything that isn't a part of your forward vision and your building progress i feel like the re there's a reward coming with this in terms of you've been pretty devotionally disciplined with this whatever this is that you're seeking we have i'm not underestimating my own magic anymore and again i just wanted to like magic i love that word <laughs> but i just kind of feel like putting the word power in there i feel you your strength like i literally am amazed that the strength card doesn't come out because i just like i literally feel that as a part of your energy you've got internal strength You've got external like strength and stability and security, like your living situation, your finances. I feel like all that is in order. And so then the breakthrough is, again, I'm feeling this kind of organizational order as in like you've, you, you're going to have everything fall into place that's outside of you in a way that, that promotes you being able to make that next power move or that power step in, in a way I feel like this is something like in the company that you work in like the organization and the shifts of the company align in such a way to where you're perfectly ready and, and stable and in line exactly for a promotion or something like that and in another way in a more personal way this is like where all of the things activate and come into an order to where you can make that move physically like from one housing situation to another or something like that or you can shift jobs or you can make make a move into like one kind of i'm thinking of like all all the times in my life where i've made huge transitions that required me to be very well prepared very strong to have things in order and while also the things outside and inside of my control are in some kind come together as well. Like the universe aligning. So again, magic, sure. The universe aligning with me to create something very intentional, very magical, very majestic and strong. Like it required me to be strong, to hold the vision, to prepare for it well, to get strong for it, and then to get everything in order. Like um, the best example of this that I can think of is when I moved from one country to the other because it required so much out of me to be able to organize and hold that vision and build that kind of strength, you know, literally in my savings and <laughs> my bank account and things like that. And then to also organize, you know, living situations and income and visa status and flights and all those kinds of things that are sort of like outside of control, you know? I'm gonna get two more cards about this, but huge leveling up intentionally yes so there's magic involved in this but also you all have put 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 the work in you guys have put your heart and soul into whatever this is that you're building so it's very exciting we have oracle wait for important information yeah this breakthrough has everything to, has a lot to do with the stuff that is coming from outside of you that's going to create a sort of hosting kind of energy for you to move forward even greater, even bigger, even more. That's what I'm feeling like with this mother of earth or the queen of pentacles is like, I don't know, like in my example of moving from one country to the other, like I, I like the breakthrough that would be coming with the full moon if this was at that period of my life, I would be notice notification from the foreign country that I was moving to from the government that my visa has been approved and it's a go, <laughs> you know? Like that's why it's the oracle and wait for important information. Um, and then we also have earth mother, feel loved and comforted. Well, come on, come on. There's a bit of like a resting period, a rest zone before the next encouragement of the next step forward. I'm not sure why I wanted to say that, but you have this feel loved and comforted in the star card. And I'm thinking of the times 
again when I was doing the working out with a personal trainer and how like half the week my top half of my body would be wrecked <laughs> and then the next half of the week lower half of my body wrecked <laughs> but like in in both cases what I was doing for the rest of the week was resting that half of the body and I feel like you've done quite a lot of that kind of stuff which requires some kinds of faith because our mind might make us think that we have moves that we need to make or, you know, I should still keep working out. And that was actual conversation that I had with my personal trainer because I'm like, can I make it happen faster by doing double workouts in a day? Um, <laughs> so then, again, that's the magic. That's the vision quest. That's holding that faith, again, star card, in your vision of like it can ebb and flow. It can move when things are open. You can prepare. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been doing a lot of tarot readings recently, private tarot readings. Thank you for you all, like, connecting with me in that kind of a way. But my voice is <laughs> getting low. Um, but regardless, it's like, uh, ah, that's a good example, is that there are times to rest and have faith. Like, like, like uh, my tarot readings, like if I paused them because my throat is feeling a little haggard, this, it feels like you've had to have faith along this journey. So this breakthrough is also coming through in the kind of a way of if you do allow yourself to rest for a period of time and have faith that that's still working toward that main goal and it's still aligning with the things that you cannot exactly control or totally understand. Like if I were to pause my private readings, which I'm not, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> if I were to pause those, then the business of my tarot would still be there and it could still thrive and it could still move forward, you know? But okay, I'm going to get two more cards, maybe three, if three want to come out. This is a bit of advice in these cards about how to embrace this breakthrough, I feel like saying is about to happen. But it feels like it's kind of twofold, um, as in you get a bit of a affirmation or confirmation that when you did choose to rest and replenish that was worth it you didn't have to run yourself dry or ragged to create this breakthrough and at the same time every bit of preparation and strength building and organization for yourself has been worth it and is going to show itself as beneficial for you as well again this breakthrough is the universe creating something that's like okay next up you you got the green light or gates are open run racehorse um but okay we have goose take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving that's absolutely brilliant again that other that other sentiment i almost want to allow doesn't feel entirely accurate but maybe for some of you i want to allow that this breakthrough is like when those gates open on the other side of them like a part of that breakthrough is like, okay, cool. I get to move to the next level. And then you get, then you can rest kind of thing of like, oh my gosh, I reached that. Okay. Now that I'm here, I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to take a moment. Like, like, you know, recovery days with muscle building and stuff like that. But at the same time, you're getting this other sentiment of you've gone about building this manifestation in your life very magically and very allowing for the ebbs and the flows and the rests and the pushes. This feels quite stable. I feel like the cards are complimenting you right now, group number two. And I guess this would be my guides, your guides, everything that I tune into and channel. That is truly beneficial and helpful for you all and honest. <laughs> I'm very big on those values when I do readings. It feels like everyone who, who's speaking in this reading to you all is saying thank you. Thank you for just like not burning yourself out, not harming yourself, not running yourself ragged, but tuning in and caring for yourself when you needed to, paying attention to your health and well-being. That's a lot of the star card as well. It just feels like there are compliments in this reading too. Gosh, look at this penguin card. I love in my own personal readings when the penguin card comes out because I'm like, thank you. <laughs> it says the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. In a lot of ways, I want to say that this darkness might also be in reference to not, not, not really knowing what the next step to take is going to have to be. You know, the darkness of that kind of confusion or not seeing that next 
stuff. That honestly, that was a bit of my January this year. I'm like, I don't really know what's going to happen next. And when I would do the tarot readings, I was like, I, I don't know. It all looks like gibberish to me, like for myself. So in a lot of ways, I feel like that might be your breakthrough as well as in like you're, you're well prepared to take that next step. And the breakthrough will be the clarity and the stability and support for whatever that to know what that next step is and to be able to take it. And so the darkness, whether it is that darkness of not seeing it or the darkness of like, this has been really hard up to this point, it's now passing. Ooh, that feels like a big unclenching, doesn't it? And manatee or dugong, accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. Oh, that feels so good. It feels like, again, another compliment as well as verification and validation that at certain points in this journey, it has been healthy and it might be right now for you as well while you wait for this full moon energy, you know, for it to come along. It is healthy to allow yourself to wait for answers to come to you, to wait for the opening to present itself, you know? That's part of that, like, isn't there, like, I never remember it and yet I regularly practice it um acceptance or like allowance acceptance and then that third one <laughs> where it's all about like if you don't re non-resistance ethic and 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 uh psychology or philosophy you know and spirituality you all know what I'm talking about Grunor over too <laughs> I know you do I know you do but um I felt like there was one other thing that I was gonna say but yeah when when January I, I don't, if you all have been following me, I have said this in the readings during January, I was straight up hibernating. I was a bear and it was so odd to me. I was like, wow, I'm really with nature and I just want to sleep. <laughs> I was like, it's cold. It's dark. I'm done. And then for any like next step forward, I'm like, I really just don't feel like pushing and, and, you know, forcing or anything like that. So I went full goose, full manatee. <laughs> I was like, we'll see what opens up. I'm not working hard. <laughs> oh, in a lot of ways. Remember, Son of Water is on the bottom of the deck. In a lot of ways, that was a very selfish choice for me. Because usually with my Aries fiery energy, I'm going to push. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to get some last cards for you guys, group number two. But I, um, okay, yeah, just two from this Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. One of my friends sent me this deck as a surprise. I didn't know it was coming, and I swear to God, this is one of my favorite kinds of gifts, and I absolutely love my friend. Thank you if she's watching this. Um, we have Pachamama, and we also have the Holy Mountain. Ooh, gosh, okay. Here we go, summing up all this kinds, these kinds of energies. In a lot of ways, the conscious collective for a while now has been striving toward expressing more of our feminine sides more of our feminine nature and having that be a part of the whole human matrix that we build. Working more with rest periods, working more cyclically, working working more with um, a 28 day hormonal cycle right, rather than a per day, you know, working more with the feminine energy in all of us. And Pachamama is that energy of like Gaia, earthen, you know, nurturing. Holy shit, earth mother and Pachamama. You've been doing you've been doing your due diligence toward that and paying attention to your own personal cycles. The more I align with that, the more I can acknowledge that whereas certain times of the month even, I'm I'm better for some activities and some progress, and then other times of the month I need to do other things. And it's all about that and you've done so well with that part of creating this opening majestically magically co-creating with the universe and i want to almost say earth herself and some whatever if that's very specific for a few of you depending on what it is that you are manifesting what your vision is awesome you're working with the 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 flow and the signs of nature and then we have the holy mountain which is again symbolizing this kind of quest like the vision quest i like this card uh for i'm, I'm not very biblical but there are a few bible stories that stand out to me and that's like you know the burning bush like moses and the moses <laughs> told you I'm not biblical. Moses in that red bush or the burning bush where like God gave Moses the Ten Commandments up on a mountain when he was all alone. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's something about like also I'm thinking of uh, from what I've studied 
and from what I've encountered in my travels around the world. In certain cultures, especially native and indigenous cultures, when it comes to the time of a young man or young boy becoming a man, there's an initiation process that is testing his will, testing his strength and testing his endurance and his stamina and ability. And in a lot of ways that helps the young man harmonize with the, the, the tribe. It helps harmonize with the woman and how she does childbirth. And that's like the mountain for humanity. But before we go too far down those roads, it feels like you literally have been balancing your masculine and your feminine so well so harmoniously you have been climbing these mountains you have been showing yourself that you do have what it takes to actually succeed but you're not going to shred yourself you're not going to rip yourself apart you're going to do this in balance you're going to do this in harmony and in those kinds of ways that's why these things are opening because of your so oh my gosh here we go the eight of earth in this deck again is called inner order You've been paying attention to the ebbs and the flows to when you do have that surge of energy and you can be hyper productive and when it's not there and you can soothe and nurture and recover and repair. And that's why the outer world is corresponding with you in this kind of a way. It is alchemical. It is magical. And that's why things are opening up and that's why you're going to receive that kind of notification of here's that next level. Here's the, come on, do your power step, do your power move. Both are power. Power to receive, power to give, power to rest, power to strive, <laughs> power, power. So cool, so awesome. Honestly, I love this reading a whole lot. It feels very, very balanced and very secure and very stable. So I wanna, I wanna let you know one more message that's coming through for you all, group number twos, is if you continue in these kinds of patterns, enhance them and improve on them, notice them more, it's only going to build greater and bigger and bigger as in like next level, new level, next level, new level in terms of greater stability, greater connections, greater motivation, greater success, accomplishments, achievements. Because you're doing it in such a harmonious, such a stable and secure, such a strong responsible kind of way again like shredding and ripping your muscles and then resting for a week <laughs> okay yeah that's what I have for you all group number twos I truly hope that you enjoy your breakthrough but I feel like you guys are more going to peaceably accept it because you are acknowledging your inner power <laughs> um if you like this reading it feels very spiritual and very intentional but if you like this reading if you have gotten a lot from it at the least, a whole lot of universal gratitude coming toward you all. Please give it a big thumbs up. Click on the subscribe button if you would like to see some more of my readings in the future. And also comment below because I'd love to hear from you all. I really, really, really love connecting with you all in all the ways that we can through this YouTube channel. So thank you all who comment. And then also, I have some links in the description of this video for some tarot offerings, as well as my friend who sent me this deck. She has this, she's certified in, well, oh my gosh, I always mess this up. She's certified in a um, method that's called emotion code, and it's a process that helps people release trapped emotions. If that sounds like something that you are gravitating toward, check out the link that I have in the description of this video for that as well. I'm going to send you on your way just to remember that we are all free and we are also all connected, always at the exact same time. I love you, group twos. beautiful humans in group number three you all were drawn to the sun card so these are your messages all about a breakthrough that is coming your way it's happening for you and through you on or around or near the next full moon i'm recording this toward the end of february and i believe this is a full moon in virgo that we're experiencing but honestly i love to make these readings pretty timeless as in when you click on it, just know that this breakthrough, as long as it resonates for you all, group number threes, this breakthrough will be occurring in that kind of time period of whenever your next full moon is during that time of year. But okay, you all were drawn to the sun card. Ooh, I just got the nicest little feeling. I don't know how to describe it, but it felt sweet. <laughs> anyway, like a shiver of sweetness. Um, the sun says manifestation power. And it also says 1111, which it feels like the right moment at the right time or the right time at the right moment kind of energy. And it says, be patient. It will come. I feel like this 
Ooh, I just got a like a flash of an image of a hunter, like a very noble kind of warrior kind of like sensation of a hunter who's like, like um, crouched in an active position and like ready and waiting with like the bow strong with the arrow, like for that moment when the prey walks by. And, and when it is perfectly aligned and when it is perfectly set up. I have to let you all know, group number threes, that that exact perfect time, perfect place, perfect moment for the action, the action that you need to do in your life is upcoming. This is the breakthrough. I swear the breakthrough is either that actual situation happening in your life and you're gonna be like oh my god it's here oh, shoot the bow um I'm a vegan so I don't know why I thought a hunter but I mean like I'm not a very non-judgmental vegan um and there's nobility in hunting for your food but regardless it's either uh well I'm getting some tarot and we're gonna see it's either that or I feel like an inner sense of knowing um that it's time and, and you'll find out also like the location. And I'm feeling like it's, this is all sounding very mystical. And I love to make my readings a lot less mystical and more third dimensional <laughs> um, so that we can translate them into our modern era and our modern world. And then that one. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the death card and transformation. Okay. Ooh. It is funny because like the death card speaks of what happens like in the past and what happens in the future and it talks about that moment in time when the change and the transformation and the transition is occurring like what has been will never be anymore and what will be is something different than you have known in your life or in that given situation and so then this bottom of the deck is like as a result of your metamorphosis in one particular area of, of your life or just in general in your life if this tracks for like you're doing some massive changes in your life right now this is what's building this situation I just heard it resoundingly and I feel so happy saying it um door opening energy is your breakthrough like you know like in in one of my decks in the everyday witch tarot deck the death card shows behind the death figure one door is closed and the other one is ajar like there are two doors your breakthrough has a lot to do with a door opening and it's something that feels unforced and yet you had to like force yourself to be patient. <laughs> Sorry, that tracks for me because I have a lot of fiery energy and a lot of impatience. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you had to force yourself maybe to be impatient and that's where the force came in. But otherwise, look at how soothed and calm this sun card is. It's almost as if the sun card itself is waiting for the clock to hit 1111 and then it'll open its eyes, you know? It's all about that kind of power, that kind of manifestation power, where rather than just acting wantonly and just hazardously and chaotically, you are aligned and you're paying attention with focused awareness and consciousness of when there is an aligned action that opens in front of you. You're doing shifts. You're doing focused changes in your life. And this is the way to do it like co-creatively without, you know, expending too much energy. And right now I'm thinking of all those like ninja movies and oftentimes any movie that I've watched that has ninjas in it is animated <laughs> like Kung Fu Panda. And it's like the Kung Fu master seems to do so little effort and has so much power behind their actions, you know? Because they're working with the elements. I'm also thinking of, um, oh no. Oh, I forgot that one Marvel movie. I can't believe I forgot it because I actually really, really liked it. Um, you know, the one Marvel movie with Kung Fu in it. Oh, I'm moving on. Um, <laughs> but you know, like, like when you have the elements and you're working with that and you're working with like your own personal nature, then you don't have to force anything. You just acknowledge and recognize when those breakthroughs occur and happen for the doors opening and then you take the action to walk through that open door your breakthrough that is happening i know is a door opening for you on near or around the full moon so we have three of air with doubt and we also have the mother of air dang it is literally your mental courage 
and your mental strength that is building this situation for you all, that is building this breakthrough. Um, in a lot of ways, I, I like to say that doubt is the oracle killer and we're all oracles in the way of we can have visions about our future as in like what we desire, what our goals are, what our hopes and dreams and wishes are. Um, and in a lot of ways, our minds can wreck the shit out of them <laughs> with all of this doubt over whether or not something is possible or we're good enough, imposter syndrome, fear, 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 all that kind of stuff. I feel like you all have literally like overwhelmingly overcome so many of your doubts with this strength of character that I'm seeing in this mother of air. You just, it didn't even take much. I don't know. I just, I feel you guys pretty committed to a solid intentional focus of aligning your life in this kind of a way as what I've already described. You know, the manifestation process, making it easier on yourself, like not allowing your mind to take you down a million dark twisting roads and just being like, mind, thank you for those options. But I've got this clarity and I've got this focus and I know it's going to open at some point. And we've got the three of earth with growth and we also have the nine of water with joy. Um, and we have the three of water fullness. Wow. And then we have the daughter of air. A fresh new start, a fresh new beginning. I almost feel as if this breakthrough that is occurring in your life to get more specific and third dimensional in your reading has a lot to do with relationships and them re reviving, renewing, starting, starting again. Just because I see this I don't know, like for the, me, this mother of air, she's she's like an, a more mature woman as well as this bald eagle behind her. And then in this daughter of air card, she, this is the, like a youngness. And then this eagle, I don't know if it's a bald eagle and a young bald eagle, but I'm just gonna pretend. Um, it's like everything becomes renewed, refreshed and like revived again. I feel like this has a lot to do with a relationship a social situation, building someone with a, building someone, damn, that might have a specific message for those of you who are intending to start a family. <laughs> um, as well as I wanted to say building a project. Like if you've been working with someone intentionally on building some kind of creative project and or business in your life and in your world, what's likely to occur with this breakthrough You've gone through, like you've intentionally gone through a transformational process with, where you soothed yourself and you're like, you know what? I'm going to experiment with living life in this kind of a way, whatever your kind of a way, whatever your experiment was, you were very intentional about it and focused and waiting to see what doors would open. The door is opening. And in that kind of way, when you step through it, what I see on the other side of it is a revitalization of some important relationships and some important projects in your life joy nine of water didn't I say something like it felt what did I say in the beginning right when I touched your card and I started talking about it I was like I felt some kind of fun sensation yeah I don't know it felt nice like like joy very simple joy but joy has a lot of the nine of water it has a lot to do with wish fulfillment and it has a lot to do with manifestation <laughs> like you get what it is that you want if you're intentional with building something, if you're intentional with like ending one way of behaving in a connection, allowing that connection to maybe need to end and then seeing if like, you know, that way of behaving, if you stop that and if, it, if the cost maybe is the connection itself, there's a door opening, there's a breakthrough in that stagnancy and something on the other side. And what I feel like on the other side is a refreshing of that connection in a new kind of a way, in a new mode of behaving. And when it comes to this three of earth and this growth, I feel like your business as well as intentionally prospering almost because of this intentional manifestation of, of a change, of a shift, of a metamorphosis in your life. I literally know that you guys are working toward this breakthrough. You've wanted a change. You've wanted it to go differently. And this breakthrough that is happening is, is that, that stuff that you, it's like the unfamiliar territory of it going differently. A, re a reviving or a revi revitalization of how you are doing your business, how your relationships are, are going 
and and how they are also growing together like work commitments as well i just feel like them being more fruitful and there's all this fruit around the three of water and it says fullness it just feels like there might have been some toxicity, might have been some emptiness, might have been some reasons to have to force some kinds of closures in your life. But in the way of where you were intentionally desiring change, not kicking things or people out, you needed change. And that kind of a focus is creating this breakthrough of that actual fresh start, that new beginning, that different way, that clarity of an open mind. And I really feel like people coming back together. I really feel like two people who had a stagnancy or a period of no, no contact, I really feel like this breakthrough it, it are the phone calls, are the text messages, are the getting togethers. God, that feels so nice. Okay, I'm shuffling and I'm getting a couple more cards that feel so pretty. These two. Ish. Ish. I hate it when that happens because it's not the easiest thing <laughs> to pull out. Okay. Anyway, we have protection guardian. Drop your shields. An arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy. <laughs> I'm going to put these like this. Because <laughs> that's what you've done to build this breakthrough. <laughs> Sorry, that's just like a layer. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I always love it. When the tarot is like this, like blunt, <laughs> it's like so dry <laughs> to me. Okay. I'm going to explain. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's like, this is what is creating this breakthrough. You surrounded yourself with protective energy intentionally. Like you set your sights on something. You're like, I do not like the way that this is happening. And you did that very intelligently. And I feel you having expressed that. Okay. Step number one. <laughs> logically i swear i feel like the cards and your guys are being so dry like this breakthrough shouldn't even be surprising logically <laughs> you will have some kind of an opening something will be refreshed revived renewed and, and clarified and transitioned and and beginning again and and i don't know if i i fully express that with like the more mature to the younger it's like this this phase is done and now let's start new and and fresh and open you know protection guardian drop your shields again i feel like you had to make some kinds of 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 cutbacks some kinds of of deals and and negotiations and navigations in your life maybe literally like blocking things or someone and like ending communication or something like that this breakthrough is now Draw like unblock someone, <laughs> drop the shields that you erected because the door has opened, walk through it. Now there's fullness. Now there's joy. Now there's growth. It feels like whoever is on the, whoever is with you in this situation, whatever is tracking so far, group number three is in this reading as in like, oh, that's me and my so-and-so or, oh, that's me and my business. Whatever that is, it's like your business was growing as well during this change in this transition. It's almost as if you and that thing or person or situation that you were holding yourself, you know, in a, in a transition metamorphosis, holding yourself at bay, like, you know, protecting your energy and, you know, withdrawing that person or thing was also allowing themselves their own kind of space and awareness and integrity to grow as well in their own cocoon. Does that make sense? It's like everything is evolving, you and the other. And in that kind of way, again, very dry. <laughs> have shields? Don't have shields. <laughs> again, door closed, door open. <laughs> okay, sorry, Anna, let's get some more cards. Oh my gosh, I don't know why that tickled me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get, there we go. One more card. Here we go. Woo. Make a stand, Blue Heron. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Yes. Again, that is exactly what you did. I know that. That's Mother of Air. Wow. I had, I'd like hadn't, I've had this deck for so long and I hadn't really associated this with Queen of Swords kind of energy yet. More like Queen of Wands, but no, it's very much like Queen Mother of Air, like Queen of Swords. She's very much like a giver of her own personal truth, and it is very unconditional. 
And it's not very judgmental. It's like, this. It, these are my values. This is my boundary. Yeah? It's, and in that kind of way, you set up through like consent and integrity. You set up protection in your, in your area. In a lot of ways, I feel like the other person maybe in your situation may have erected that kind of a, of a barrier from you maybe because you, you served yourself in that mother of air integrity and consent kind of a way, blue heron kind of a way. So yeah, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. That's really quite a way to build in our lives, isn't it? Quite a nice way to build, honestly. Being honest, being who you are, standing in that kind of a power. Anyway, and then chameleon, yay! I feel like this is happening for you and you don't really have to do anything. Um, I already knew that the door is opening. All you need to do is consciously, awarely drop your shields and step through it, you know? I have to. Sorry, I just felt called to read from the guidebook about this protection guardian. I never do this in this deck, but I know it has this interesting thing. Um, hold on one moment, please. It's gonna take me a second. <laughs> it's a big deck. There we go. Okay, also the chameleon card, it says stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. This is very much that death energy and that transformation of like, maybe don't act in the moment. It's like, there's a lot that can happen inside of you. It's that cocooning kind of energy of like maintain self and self-focus because these changes will occur inside of you. As well as I love this three of earth, the changes happen beneath the soil before something sprouts up. You know, it lays the roots, it draws nutrients from the soil, it connects with the mycelium and the other microorganisms down there, and then it sprouts up. There's a lot to be said about this chameleon energy. And okay, the protection guardian, drop your shields. It says, ooh, drop any shields of shame, resistance, and fear that are standing between you and your chances of enjoyment and fun. Know that you don't need to hide who you are or the gifts that you have. You were born to shine. I want to cry beauty tears of love for you guys and light because you were drawn to the sun card and you were born to shine. And you don't need to have those shields of, of those kinds of like, I'm resisting you because I'm afraid of your judgments. Again, no, no judgment or disapproval needs to harm you. It's about knowing who you are. You don't need to hide and expressing yourself. Like I was saying with that queen of mother of air, queen of swords. Okay, I'm going to get your last two cards from this deck. If two or more want to come out, I'll take it. Um, this deck was a surprise gift for me from one of my friends. She sent me a care package. And I, I cannot tell you how much I love her and this deck. She's the one who I include a link for her services. She does a... a practice called the emotion code and it's to help you release trapped emotions it's extraordinarily simple and profound and if that sounds like i'm very bad at at sales but i include her link in the description of all my videos because i love her and and she does this for me we exchange services and it's literally it's just like so simple and so helpful like i'm i'm not i'm not even trying to i'm very bad at sales i'm just telling you <laughs> If that sounds like something that would help you, go ahead and check out the link. Um, but yeah, and I'm mentioning it because um, a surprise tarot or oracle deck uh, is literally like my favorite kind of gift in the entire world. <laughs> so I mean, like it literally, I was like, what? <laughs> okay, I'm getting one more card. Well, you guys got five cards. I talked enough. Okay. <laughs> um, here we go. We have stand still. <laughs> I swear your cards are such like dry humor. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. You were doing a stand still. <laughs> Water. Oh, I don't know where I want to put this. <laughs> I'll move on. And the wind is... Okay. Um, there are things that are flowing that you don't have to do a whole lot about, but merely open yourself up to, like flow with the ebbs and the tides of life. 
witness these transformations inside of yourself and witness when the door opens. That's the kind of thing of water. It's like if a door is closed, you kind of just stay there. But if there's an opening, of course, you're going to flow right through it. That's the idea with this breakthrough. It's so funny because like tarot readings on YouTube that are like a breakthrough is coming. Usually for me, whenever I click on them, they're very exciting. And for me, when I've done these readings before, I'm like, oh my God, look at this. All three of these groups feel so hella like peaceful and spiritual and like, you know, grounded. <laughs> it feels really flowy and nice. But okay, your last two, the gatherer and the serpent. Yo, I like this, the gatherer going right over the three of earth because it's something about now comes the time to harvest from all of this healing work and transformational energy. The serpent is another totem of shedding skin, another totem of the the death card. And like we're growing here. We're not ending something. We're transforming. We're changing. We're shifting and, and we're transmuting. Um, we're doing some stuff here and we're healing the pain. Oh, like the protection guardian. We're healing the shame and the fear. And we're doing things about it. And I know, again, like I said over here, before in your reading, I know that the other party involved in this standstill situation has been doing likewise. And in that kind of a way, this breakthrough is literally a gathering of you and them, as well as you get to be a gatherer of all this kind, kind of work, of all this kind of well-being, of all of these kinds of things now suiting each other a whole lot more and a whole lot more beautifully and harmoniously in your world and in your life, particularly because you chose to be so uh, harmonious with yourself. You chose to blue heron, mother of air, the situation. And then the nine of water, the joy card is like in your own right and in your own way, you're flowing with your own truth of what would be a wish fulfillment for you. And I love that it is a shared wish fulfillment that is this breakthrough. It's you and your business or your creative project. You both love each other. Pretend like your business has a consciousness, okay? <laughs> and, and you and whomever or whatever it is. But again, the gatherer, it feels so much like all these pumpkins and cool things in this, this card. It feels so much like you have harvesting energy going on here because it's more than just you that this door opening breakthrough kind of thing is going to impact. Because again, look at all this fruit and there's a pumpkin right there. A pumpkin would be a fruit, right? Because isn't the definition of a fruit something that has the seeds on the inside? <clears throat> what about strawberries then? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, again, there's this like strong energy of harvest and like gather the fruits of this kind of work of, of healing, the labor of healing a situation and what it takes to be able to shed skin, to transform, to become goo in a cocoon and reform, to wait consciously to manifest a door opening and then to be like water and to flow graciously with the guardian the protection guardian you know shields down into adapting to that new situation without forcing anything at all okay that is what I so beautifully see for you all group number threes I'm done with your reading I, I would say I'm excited for you but no I'm like peacefully aligned for you <laughs> honestly it feels like so like loving <laughs> but okay i hope you like this and i hope you're happy with this reading <laughs> and if you are please give it a thumbs up to help my little channel grow in the algorithm and all that kind of joyful stuff um comment below if you feel so drawn to doing it because i cannot tell you how much i love connecting with you all and all of the ways that this channel enables us to do whether you guys are attending the group tarot or you guys are getting a private reading which i've done quite a few of those recently and the comments i love i love i love connecting with you guys honestly 
I know you guys can hear that in my voice. You know it's true. Um, and then also hit subscribe if you want to see some more of these readings in the future. Check out the links that I have in the description of this video for those tarot offerings and the link to the next group tarot gathering, as well as my dear, dear, beautiful, gorgeous friend who does that emotion code service. If you're interested, you can check out her link. But I'm sending you on your way just to remember that we are all free and we are also all connected at the exact same time. I love you, group number threes. Pretty ones, I am showing you the decks that I used in this reading in the order that I used them in, in case you are curious about them. But this was that first Oracle deck that I drew the three cards from for the three groups. This is the tarot deck that I used in this reading, which technically years and years and years ago, way before I was ever into tarot, this deck was, it was the second tarot reading. I've only ever bought two tarot readings, I think, and this was the second one. Um, that I ever received and I found the deck again and it was like such a huge pivotal moment in my life to receive that tarot reading but anyway then these two oracle decks and then the last one this is the deck that my friend sent me that I mentioned in all three of the readings this beautiful beautiful deck I love it so much okay that's it okay I love you guys and I'm excited for your breakthroughs and bye